All right, what's up everybody? This right here is the long-awaited PCM swap video. Uh, I got my Diablo unlocked PCM here for my 2018 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. Uh, now I waited till I got, you know, a little over 16,000 miles on the car. Haven't had no noises or no troubles out of it. Uh, I feel safe, you know, kind of replacing this PCM. I know it leaves a code in the BCM, but I did keep the wire, put my factory one back in there if I ever needed to. Uh, I don't really plan right now on going to anything, you know, extreme with this car. I just want a light tune uh, just to kind of take some of the nannies off, but I don't really want to change engine PCMs a whole, whole lot or, uh, you know, engine values or whatever, a whole, whole lot to make it extreme. Uh, I think taking some of the torque management and stuff like that off is going to make a big difference in the car. Uh, I've talked to Jay Green and that's who's going to be doing all my tuning. So let's get into the PCM swap itself. The thing we're going to do is get here in this trunk and take our trusty 10 millimeter and throw it on this negative battery turn. Got it off and I'm going to go ahead since I've got the taser here. I'm going to unplug my taser out of the plug. All right, I've already got the double bypass because I've got the taser here. So they do send you a double bypass when you uh, order the Diablo tuner for them for the uh, 2018 and above cars. But like I said, I've already got the one for the taser installed. Should be this, looks the same, uh, except the taser one looks a little bit better built. But anyway, they both serve the purpose. So I'm gonna go with this. Right, guys, the next step, you go right here to this cover, pull this back right here pop this cover off inside got the cabin filter pop this up go ahead and just remove your cabin filter that way it doesn't get messed up in the process and you're going to take in this 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 one this one and let's see there there's one right up here too you'll pop all those plastic little pop rivets out and we're going to pull this side up so we can get to the computer to don't have it. any of these trim removal tools here to get these pins and stuff out i recommend you get a set they are not expensive at all i think i got a set of these on ebay for like six dollars all right so what we have here is the cover up this right here is going to be your pcm you got a 13 millimeter bolt here uh, i've already loosened it up with a 13 millimeter socket Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy out. Place it over here. All right, and then just like this, PCM comes out. All right, so you'll have one right here that you'll have to pop the clip on. And I'll get, uh, once I get this out, I'll show you these clips a little bit. Let me get this out and I'll show you how these so clips. The way these clips work is when it's pushed down and in, this will be pushed down and you'll have to hit this with your thumb to release this, and then you'll pull this up and it'll separate out from the PCM. And then you need to pull these straight out. The things are color coded, the top and the bottom here, color coded for which one they go in. You're gonna have to take this sweet ass bracket dodge put on here off and take 10 millimeter uh, nuts right here off and place the bracket onto yeah. this one right here. New ECU in there, plugs are in. Make sure you get these things lined up nice and straight, then you put it in, and once you start putting it in, you'll start taking this handle out here and rotating this handle down as you're plugging it in. Uh, it takes a little bit of finagling to make sure, uh, but you wanna make sure that you get it in there straight so you don't bend any pins, uh, and that you get these plastic, uh, gray plastic things pushed all the way back down and clicked back in so they don't just come out. Then you'll take your 13 millimeter bolt, put it back in, and pay attention to uh, these right here and exactly how they go in. Make sure you get those clips back down in there. Let's see if I can go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Make sure that gets down in there where it needs to be. All right, you see that? I got it in the, in the groove there. This one right here into the groove there. Make sure you get them down where they need to be. All right, then you just pop this back down in. It'll bend just a little bit. That's all right. Plastic and rubber portions is what's bending. Make sure all this is still lined back up and then push these back in. Here, here, that and that and seat it all the way in. And I just go across and make sure that nothing else is really popped out. Make sure this is seated all the way back down where it needs to be your rubber seal back here. 
is where it needs to be underneath and all this stuff is good. Then I'm gonna take, put these plastic pot rivets back in, uh, put my cabin air filter back in and my beautification piece and then we'll move on. Everything's back installed and ready to go. Take your negative battery terminal here, place it back on, make sure it's down on there firmly, then tighten up your 10 millimeter bolt. This sweet little handy dandy guide here after you've uh, installed your PCM, then you'll go and reinstall the negative battery terminal, check, turn the vehicle to the run position, press the start button twice without the brake. Keep on for five seconds. All right, press it twice. Position, one, two, three, four, five. Turn ignition to the off position. The key should be in the lock position. All right, it's in the off position. Now you may start the vehicle. All right, foot on the brake. Crank it up. All right. <clears throat> hey, hey, she's running. Let me turn this. Oh, I can't turn the light off up here. All right, and it says, uh, let's see. Okay, so I got it straightened out. The trouble code was throttle position stuff. So what I had to do was uh, on the second part, uh, let's put light on here. <clears throat> on the second part here, it says uh, what to do with the throttle. Now I did have throttle input. I could rev the car up. So uh, I don't know why it threw the code, but anyway, I followed this procedure right here since it was throttle related. I uh, put my foot on the brake and the gas pedal to the floor. At the same time, press the start button and let it sit there and crank for about five or six seconds and then released and it still crunk for another second or two after i released both of them and then it turned off then i turned it back off and pressed the start button with my foot on the brake and crunk it up and no codes i've got good throttle input everything seems good so now uh i'm gonna go on to the tune it's gonna be a separate video on uh the tunes and stuff pretty much all i'm gonna change right now is gonna be the uh the fan settings for this 180 thermostat so thanks everybody for watching. Uh, thumbs up, like, subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thanks again.